Yeah, that's a good one, man. Welcome to Fab, Casa del Fab once again here. I'm just sitting here drinking a Fab. What is, what is this? Fab Light. Let me tell you something about Fab Light, okay? You listen to me, Fab Light sponsors. Don't ever put Fab's name on your can again because you bounced your check. You bounced your check three times because I tried to run it through three times. I hope you like your overdraft fees because here's the deal. You ain't... Bring that stuff back in here again. Let's get to some U8 light basketball right now. I'm here to bring up the five players, uh, up and coming players that you got to watch for this season. Let me start with this. Derek Elliott. Derek Elliott is strizzong, man. This dude, he can play inside. He can play outside. Dude can play football. He can play rugby. Dude wrestled. He was in the WWF. He, he lifted up Andre the Giant over his head. One, I mean, he lost the match, but he lifted him up over his head and slammed him on the ground. This dude is big and strong. He's also a triple-double waiting to happen. Who's going to guard him? Who's going to guard him? I don't know. We're going to find out this season because he's putting in work. He's a trainer for UH Life as well. He's a trainer. And let me talk about another trainer coming up on the board, the fab board. That's Chris Hayes. This man, I don't know where he comes up with his points. And dude ain't number five, two, 122 pounds of raw basketball skills. He scored 25 points last game. I don't know where he came. I think at halftime he was shooting the bucket. He was shooting it in the bucket. He scored 10 at halftime while everybody's sitting on the bench, but he got his 2-5. He got his 2-5. Let me tell you this. Don't sleep on Chris Hayes. Don't <laughs> on Chris Hayes because he going to put in work while you sleep, okay? Let me get to my third player here. Now, I got a little bit of qualm. Fab got a little qualmation, a little qualme, a little quandre about what this, what this player is because he ended up on hard work. Hard work didn't even have him last season, but this is the greatest blocker in lifetime history. He averaged four and a half blocks a game, Reggie Jackson. How did hard work get Reggie Jackson with their last pick? With their last pick? Oh, he wasn't on the board. He just happened to appear on the draft board with the last pick and Bustamani and, and Shondell just pulled. Oh, I will take Reggie. Well, I guess you will take Reggie. And Reggie is going to put in work on your team. Good pick. Good pick, hard work. And let me talk about my last player that I want to talk about. Patrick Dudley. Now, let me say this. Patrick Dudley is a, a spot-on three-point shooter. And he has instant chemistry on your team. But he did show up last season to their playoff game. And Sizzler lost. They lost. The sizzle <laughs> went out. So here's all I say about Patrick. Patrick shows up. It's going to be difficult to beat that team. But if it don't, Sizzle is on the down and out. And let me tell you this. We are brought to you by our sponsor, Fabarita, the new up-and-coming margarita. Now, don't be alarmed by the brownness of the Fabarita because this Fabarita is <laughs> mixed with cocoa beans and chocolate sugar. So go out and get your Fabarita. In the malt liquor section of 7-Eleven today, we out.